this feels like a good one. Oh, this is a good one on the rage on the rage crawl. Welcome back to your brand new video everyone. So in this video I'm fishing with the iconic Strike King Rage Craw as you can see right here. The pattern that I'm using is the is uh, Blue Bug. As you can see it has a nice blue sapphire in the bottom. It's pretty dark in the top overall. Dark profile. It's good to use in conditions like this. Stain conditions. Uh, either dirty conditions or uh, dirty conditions, muddy conditions and all murky. So we're just going to see what I can grab. This is definitely a great way to mimic crawfish. So. It's springtime, the crawfish are coming out, so I'm going to see what I can grab on the rage for all you guys. This, this should be a pretty good video over here. There's a lot of structures right, right here ahead of us, so you really gotta, I really got to be careful where I'm fishing at. Or else I'm going to get caught. I've been caught up so many times over here too. But, yeah, we're just fishing up the bank right here. Imitating a crawfish. A nice yummy crawfish for the bass. Let's go ahead and swim it back real quick. That looks really nice. I like. I, I love how it swims. The action. Awesome, you guys. Let's see what I can grab. Ooh, something picked it up. Something got it right here, you guys. Ooh, this is a good bass. This feels like a good one. Oh, this is a good one on the rage. On the rage crawl. This is a good bass. Oh my gosh. No way. Let's go. <laughs> what the heck? Look at that bass, you guys. Right on the Strike King Rage Crawl. Oh, let's go. Awesome. This is a good bass, you guys, right there. Beautiful bass. Strike King Rage Crawl. Awesome. Let's go for another good one. That, that was a solid bass, you guys. That, that felt great. Right over here. Let's keep going. There's, there's got to be more bass. Have to stop by the structure right here. <clears throat> let's fix this up real quick. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna drop it right here in the little, and down she goes. Oh man, there's nothing, nothing down there right now. Oh well, I gave it a shot again. <laughs> nice. All right, let's just fish about the structure. See if something wants to go after the crawfish. there right there you guys bass number two is letting it fall underneath the, underneath the fence all right cool all right this is not too bad of a bass not as big as the other one but i'll take me the way this is bass, bass number two where i got i got him pretty good right here what oh yeah let me go get those pliers real fast ouch stop you see now you're bleeding because the hook so i gotta get that out of your mouth more fast so let me get that that's bass number two nice healthy bass on the rage crawl this is such an awesome salt plastic you guys i highly recommend using it if you if you haven't done it before haven't used it before oh i see right i got you pretty good buddy hey hang on i got you really good i know exactly how to get it out though with these long plies you guys Hang on. One second, let me get him unhooked real quick. So now we're back over here. <clears throat> we'll look at this little corner over here. There's a playground right over there, but uh, let's see what I can grab. So far, I'm at two bass over here with, on the Rage Crawl from Strike King. And I'm hoping I can grab some more. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping the bass are out right now, especially in this wind. It's really windy right now. And I wanted to make this spring fishing video, you know, covering just the uh, the Rage Craw. Because it's such an awesome uh, crawfish lure. I love the action on it. Yeah, it's definitely windy. It's not chilly though. I mean, it, it's it's warm, but, which is nice. I mean, and the sun's coming out as you can see right there. Gives you an idea of what the, of how this day is going. But uh, 
Yeah, you guys want to see what I can grab? Hopefully they're out and active right now. Ooh, something picked it up. I'm, I'm just letting it sit there. Finally. Oh my gosh. It's best number three for the video on the on the rage crawl. And this guy's really having himself a go. Oh, I really got his lip pretty bad. Look at his lip. It's pretty ripped up right there. Nice. All right. Nice little. Ooh. There you go, man. Nice little healthy bass. Should be a good one one day. Let's go for number four. That was pretty cool. I, I was just, had, just having it sit there, and then he just picked it up and slowly started swimming away. Oh, here we go again. I'm just letting it sit there. It's number four. All right. I wonder if it's the same bass as before. Now, this is a different one. Ooh, yeah, this is, a, well, this is a really nice color to it. Nice green. Just going to let him settle down, but that's bass number four. I was just kind of letting it sit there on the bottom and just slowly slowly just kind of dragging it with the by raising up my rod tip and all just and then yeah boom looks like they just wanted slower today which is which is totally fine let's just get them unhooked i got them pretty good right here in the bottom of the mouth oof but yeah healthy bass number four Man, i got you good dude oh my gosh i got you right on the side of the mouth there you go nice healthy bass let's put them back it's number four. Let's keep going, you guys. This is pretty cool. All right, everyone. So that does it for this video. I did catch about four healthy bass. Uh, the first bass, I believe, yeah, it was definitely the first bass. That was definitely the, the biggest bass of the video, which was really nice to see, especially on such an iconic crawfish-style lure, such as the such as the Rage Craw, as you can see right here. This is such an awesome way to, to mimic crawfish because, you know, that's what, it, that's what it's supposed to represent. I do love the pattern. This is, you know, blue bug. It's, it has, like, a nice, like, black and blue with a nice on top and with a blue sapphire on the bottom which is really nice but uh yeah you guys i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate it um yeah you guys uh like i said that was four healthy bass i really do appreciate all the support i'm gonna try to start another video tomorrow or something like that uh see what i can do sometime this weekend uh, depending on what, what happens and all but uh stay tuned you guys go ahead and comment down below uh, what you thought about this video what and what lure that you want me to use next you know coming up for my new video but until then you guys i hope you have a great evening and take care have a good one